evidence for this. Is there evidence for what? Wait, wait, wait. I'm sure there must be some evidence. (laughs) 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 On the 10th of November 2017, the Epsom and St Helier Trust Board held a meeting. At the meeting, the Epsom and St Helier Trust Board were due to take a decision on whether or not to proceed with the dangerous plan to remove acute services from one or both of Epsom Hospital and St Helier Hospital. Thank you. Um, Question one. I'd like to know how many trusts in London meet the quality standards that you are saying that you need to meet. In fact, I'd like to know how many trusts in the country meet those standards. Number two. 1,059 responses, and I believe you said this has cost about £40,000. Do you think, do the board think, that £37 per response (laughs) is a good value for money? Number three, I would like to know where the evidence is that centralising A&E services and maternity services onto a single site yields better clinical outcomes, and I stress I do not want an answer about neck of femur or on anything other than those services. I would like to see clinical evidence that that will yield better results. And finally, we are experiencing a growth in population. The population in this area has never been higher and yet you are proposing reducing the number of beds we have or at best maintaining it. So this is a question for the doctors on the board, if you are about to make a decision. You all took an oath. That oath was, first, I will do no harm. Could you lay straight in bed with a clear conscience, knowing that you are removing one of two acute facilities, which will inevitably lead to patients dying as a result of the decision you are going to make today? Thank you. Thank you very much, Dave. Uh, we'll take your questions in the order that they came. Okay. Uh, so, how many hospitals in their entirety are meeting all the, the seven-day standards? I don't know, but I would suspect not very many. But, but, the, but the, the standards exist because they're all evidence-based about improving patient care and outcomes. So the the plan for the NHS is to meet them over a number of years. And we want to meet them for you, because you are important, uh, and you deserve to have the best health care that you can. And very few the, hospitals. Um, in terms of uh, is it value for money, uh, I would say that the most important thing locally that we can pick up from people is they really are passionate <coughs> about their local NHS. And we want to make some quite big changes to the local NHS. So I think spending money on engaging with people to enable them to participate in the conversation is money very well worth while being spent. And yes, we have factored in the growth in population. At the same time as the population is getting older and there is more people, medical technology means that you need less inpatient beds as a result. So we have factored in all the different trends in the need for more beds and the need for less beds to arrive at the numbers we have got. The social so services aren't there and you know it, and we have less beds than at virtually any country in the civilised world. Do you want to the answer the answer the so, so there won't be a bed shortage this winter then? James. In terms of A&E, and, um, we, we've talked about this as you know, David, in, in the engagement exercises, um, that medicine is becoming more and more complicated. And when you have a very significant uh, life-threatening illness, such as a major heart attack or a major stroke or a fractured neck of femur, We're not talking about fractured neck of femur, we're talking about A&E and maternity. We did say that. So, so I'm just saying, when you have a major illness such as those, you outcomes are better when the care is consolidated. As long as you get there in time. In fewer sites. <laughs> For less people, yes. Do you want to hear the answer? I would love to hear the answer, but can you please answer the question? So when you have a major complex illness, 
your outcomes are far better if you access care where all the specialist facilities are in place and the specialist staff are co-located so that they can <coughs> offer the care to you in a timely way and make decisions in a timely way. And exactly the same scenario happens when you have other major illnesses that needs you to present to the accident and emergency department. Your outcomes will be better if you access a hospital where people are co-located and can give you decisions in a timely Is way. Is there evidence for that? No, we need to hear the evidence for this. Is there evidence for what? Wait, wait, wait. I'm sure there must be some evidence. Well, I don't So can I just, the, the evidence that we have in South West London is that we have hyperacute stroke services which are, cons which are consolidated on a single site at St George's Hospital. The outcomes for stroke in London are the best in the country because we consolidate services. But what about the outcomes, if you have a major heart attack, your services are co-located on a single site and your outcomes are improving. What we have done at Epsom and St Helia, we have consolidated our a &E services <laughs> for acute surgery. So if you have an acute surgical problem and you live in the Epsom part of the catchment population, you will come to St Helia to access the a &E for that need. When we did that about eight or nine years ago, the mortality figures for acute surgery fell and stayed at a sustained level lower. When we consolidated our fractured neck of femur service on a single site, the outcomes have improved year on year and now we are a national leader in the service that we provide for fractured neck of femur. And we propose to extend that to other major medical illnesses such as presenting with acute pneumonias or other severe medical problems And if I or one of my family had a similar problem, I would want to be able to access a hospital where there are senior decision makers available to make prompt, complex decisions and to talk to other members of the team and move your care forward. But you've given me your opinion. I've asked for evidence. Can you point me to an academic paper that says that centralising A&E and maternity removing them from two sites and providing them only on one yields better clinical outcomes. I don't want to hear about anything other than A&E and maternity okay. services consolidated. Okay, and that's why, we, that's, that's why we've told you about hip fractures, we can tell you about trauma, we can tell you about heart attacks, we can tell you about stroke. All those people come to hospital via an A and E service before accessing the specialist yeah, service. There is no answer yeah, yeah, yeah. because there's no evidence to support so, this scheme. So okay, I'm fine. You, I'm trying to say to you, Mr. Ash, that the question you have asked cannot be answered because you're, but you're you have anyway. to ask the question about what are the conditions that people are presenting to A and E Emergency with. Cesarean, and what we have given you is lots of examples of how when you get a specialist team for a specialist set of illnesses <coughs> together you get much better outcomes and you get them for example in excellence and Helia if you happen to sadly fracture your hip. Okay? In spite of these very valid concerns, the Trust Board decided to wave through the decision to formally submit their proposals to close acute emergency and maternity services at Epsom Hospital and St Helia Hospitals with only the possibility of building a single new acute facility if they can borrow £400 million and if they can win approval for such a project. Act now. If this plan is allowed to proceed, lives will be lost as a result. A new hospital is not on offer in this plan. Instead, this plan offers the loss of one or both of our existing acute hospitals. We need more hospitals, not fewer. Let's keep our local acute hospital services.
your life may literally depend upon it. Thanks for watching and please share this video to let more people know about it.